Hey guys, I'm working on the final bosses of Dark Visions uh, number 21 in JP. Uh, we're going to start with the Water Mage Bug. Um, I'm going to get in here and give it a go. We need to do 20 billion for the damage cap. Yeah, this is a new damage cap. It's 20 billion on this one. Uh, which is a little tricky, especially because Water Mages are not the best. But Luna Freya and my off-bannered Summer Faisalus are going to carry us. Alright, so Seals is going to shift. She's auto-covering for five turns from um, the preemptive. We'll go ahead and imperil uh, from the green magic imperil. I'll explain the team afterwards. We're going to focus Milo. We're going to get the change score now. We're going to do Bolting Strike with Savior and Summer Faisalus. And we're going to do a Chaos Wave Awakened with Luna Freya and uh, Sea King Nicole. Alright. So let's go ahead and chain this, chain this. Okay, 100 point chain score done. Uh, you gotta kill by turn five or else the boss uh, goes permanent huge mitigation. So we're gonna be killing by turn five. Let's keep focusing Milo. Let's use Summer Fies list to buff and start focusing as well. Um, we'll just use Luna Freya to just deal water damage. We're going to use Nicole to do a water resist buff. Um, Seal is going to some peril again. Savior can just like literally guard. Savior is here only for the break. She's also our provoker with death immunity and evasion. Alright, and Seals is covering the magic as well. Alright, let's go ahead and keep focusing. And we'll keep focusing our Summer Faisalus. Uh, Nicole will shift and put up um, Leviathan. Uh, Seals will do her her cooldown this turn to fill LB for the party. Guard you. Luna Freya on this turn can just whatever. Keep hitting the boss for weakness score. At this point, weakness score is done, but you know, okay. Okay, um, turn four. Let's see. We're going to use Nicole. To LB for the Amplify and all that goodness. Um, we're going to keep focusing you guys. We're going to use Yuna's STMR to power up Luna Freya. Guard you. And we don't really need anything from Seals. What is Imperil again? The reason I'm using Imperil is the boss is 120% Holy Resist. And we're going to be chaining Holy on the kill turn. So, I need to be able to chain. Okay, now it's the kill turn. Um, SLB is ready. And if you don't kill the boss by this turn, it goes permanently immune to... Not immune. Um, permanently extreme mitigation. So you have you pretty much have to kill by this turn. Okay, so we're going to um, break. Uh, Nicole is going to chain Bolting Strike, and we're going to chain that with Seal, who goes to the base form, and she's going to chain Bolting Strike from the Legend of Mana Rod. Uh, we're going to shift Luna and cap. We're going to cap with Milo, and we're going to SOB with you. Okay, so the SLB on um, Faisalus is very slow, so we're going to start that, and we're going to cap everyone else, and we're looking for a 20 billion or better damage cap. The damage cap is 20 billion. Alright, so send, wait, 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 chainers. Alright, let's see if we did it. Uh, it looks right. 20 billion, 21 billion. Okay, close enough. Let's see the damage breakdown. Oof. Oof, that da that that damage cap of 1 billion. Milo is bringing up the rear at 1.9. Ouch. Luna Freya didn't even damage cap. Wow. My, um, I, n I never did farm a second of Luna Freya's Chronicle weapon. I really should one day, but, um, yeah, I never, I never did Luna Freya's second Chronicle weapon on the JP server. Because the farm is just way too extreme. Anyway, uh, perfect score. Perfect score. Okay, so I will work on the other bosses and get back to you. See you later. Uh, guys, I actually forgot to show you the gear. I always do this when I, I say I'm going to do it after the fact. Um, anyway, here is the team we just used. Uh, so just to give you a little, little, little bit of info on the boss, it is an insect weak to water. Um... And it has a negative 
Here, I'll just, I'll just go in here and show you. I'm actually not going to be using my energy today anyway. Um, so the, the the boss has like really high resistance to everything. So I'll... Imp there it is. I'll Libra and show you. Um, yeah, it's negative 200 to water. And, so, and plus 120 to everything else. And then this field right here is negative 200% water resist to everyone, like right here. See, negative water resist, negative water resist, um, while well, they're wearing gear. Yeah, so you have to um, pretty much stick to water because it's negative 400% water and plus 120 to everything else. So anyway, you have to use water mages. Uh, so this is the team that we use. The boss does single target death on turn four, um, AOE water attacks and imperils that are magic, and single target physical stuff. So we used Summer Faisalus as our um, primary DPS. She would have done like 20 billion or something if the if um, she wasn't capped by the the one hit damage cap. Uh, but yeah, she has um, she has 300% insect killer by default. So she is like literally made for this fight. And I got her the other day. So great. Uh, yeah, maxed LB, maxed. Um, everything using Kurosame's card uh, and she did 10 billion because of the cap. Um, Milo did absolute garbage but he did contribute 2 billion which was important. He's got 300% insect killer, 275 LB damage, 4200 magic and he just is not good enough these days and yeah there it is there's our Milo. He, um, he did do 2 billion and, and that was needed to damage cap so yeah uh, Luna Freya is using Yuna's STMR in the base form to buff herself up. Other than that, um, a little bit of Esper shift form. Uh, she's using uh, 200 LB damage, 300 EVO damage, 270 EVO magic, and 5,700 attack or magic. Um, again, I never did farm or second chronicle. I really should one day, but um, it's, it's such a big farm and I hate farming. Uh, Seals is our magical tank. Um, in the base form, she has 400% uh, water resist uh, to deal with the imperil on the field and all that. We also did water buff with Nicole. Um, she has auto cover of magic for five turns, so we never even had a cast cover with her. Uh, and we gave her the Legend of Mana rod that gives um, bolting strike chain frames, triple cast. So that's, that's where we got the chaining from. Uh, other than that, just, you know, some resist. And then shift form, same thing. Um, and I gave her the imperil spell in the shift form so that we could imperil uh, light resist so we could actually get some chaining in and thunder resist because we, we needed to chain with those elements on turn one. And shift form, same thing. She's still covering in when she shifts. Still has enough resist. Uh, Nicole is just support. He has a lot of Esper fill. Shift form, a lot of Esper fill. Um, we don't need resist on the, the DPS. He did the water amplify, LB damage, stat buff, all the good, all the good stuff, and 100% water resist. And then Savior of Souls Lightning is our passive provoke evader with death immunity. Uh, she also needs a lot of water resist. I, th I think she, I think she only needed 300, maybe. I don't know, but I gave her 400 just to be safe. Um, but whatever. And she's our passive provoke in evasion and shift form. She just shifted and did her 90% spirit break. Anyway, there was the clear. Okay, later.